हेलो वन वेलकम दिस इज शरीन कुरैशी एंड यू आर वाचिंग इट्स टुमोर न्यूज हैवी फ्लडिंग इन सोमालिया लैंडस्लाइड हिट्स रोड इन जेंटिंग साइक्लोन माहा रिकर्व्स टुवर्ड्स गुजरात हैवी रेन्स इन लेट अक्टूबर हैव कॉज्ड वाइड स्प्रेड फ्लडिंग इन सोमालिया डिस्प्लेसिंग क्लोज टू 2 लाख 70000 पीपल द वर्स्ट अफेक्टेड रीजन इज हिरान इन सेंट्रल सोमालिया वेयर बेले ड्वेंस डिस्ट्रिक्ट इज फ्लडेड people there have left their homes and have gone to seek their shelter in high areas the main beladwin hospital is not functional due to the floods and the town is still flooded msf has sent a team to beladwin district to assess the conditions the first needs are drinking water and toilets people are also needing the food shelter and urgent medical attention an estimated 2 lakh children have been affected by heavy flooding in beladwin berdel and badowa johar and mahadeen somalia thousands of families have been forced to leave their homes and locate to higher ground living in makeshift camps and wards in the open many of the displaced are in dire need of clean water sanitation hygiene services safe shelter health and food supplies the floods have also destroyed schools and interrupted learning for thousands of children damaged crops and farms inundated with water will impede access to food this will exacerbate the previously precarious food situation in the country food security lack of health care and access to safe water and sanitation will result in spikes of malnutrition among somalia children and cause a death cycle of fast spreading waterborne diseases unicef is working closely with local authorities and partners to determine and meet the most urgent needs of the children and the families The organization is dispatching emergency supplies and providing life-saving services through partners on the ground. Parts of Kenya and South Sudan have also been hit by the flooding. On 16th October, the port city of Mombasa recorded more than 100 mm, that is around the monthly average in one day. Aid agencies are responding with increasing speed. For example, the World Food Programme has distributed ready-to-eat food and high-energy biscuits to thousands of the displaced. The UN Migration Agency has delivered more than 3,200 non-food supply kits containing blankets, mattresses, and kitchen sets. The UN Refugee Agency this week delivered humanitarian supplies in the first of a series of flights organized to help more than 20,000 people cut off by the flooding. UN officials warn disasters such as the Somalia floods highlight the increasing vulnerabilities of the people in this country. A landslide occurred at Jalan Henting Amber Court in Genting Highlands in Malaysia near here around 5:40 p.m. on November 5, says Pahang Fire and Rescue Department director. However, there were no casualties reported in the incident that occurred near the exhibition hall of a real estate company there. The landslide caused the route to an apartment building there to be completely covered by earth, which is being cleared now. Genting Highlands Fire and Rescue Department's official said that they received a distress call and sent 10 firemen and 3 assets to the scene. There is still land movement occurring at the affected area. The 5 p.m. incident which occurred following a non-stop downpour since 2 p.m. saw mud and rock burying a portion of both lanes of the road. No one was injured in the incident fortunately. Several videos taken moments after the landslide occurred have emerged online. Meanwhile, Bentong Police Chief Superintendent said that the situation is under control and the authorities are closely monitoring the situation. Cyclone Maha has already recurved toward the Gujarat coast in India as forecasted by SkyMet weather. The severe cyclonic storm Maha at present lies over the east central and adjoining west central Arabian Sea. The system moved eastwards with a speed of 14 kilometers per hour during past 6 hours. At 11:30 p.m. Indian Standard Time of 5th November 2019, the system lies over the sea central and adjoining west central Arabian Sea about 540 kilometers west southwest of Porbandar, 580 kilometers west southwest of Veravel in Gujarat and 630 kilometers west southwest of Diu. Now the system is likely to move east northeastwards with rapid weakening. As it will move further eastwards, it will encounter low sea surface temperature as well as increasing vertical wind shear. Therefore we expect it to rapidly start degenerating into a severe cyclone then cyclone a deep depression before reaching the coast it may further weaken into a deep depression the system might make a landfall over gujarat coast around diu as a depression so the threat to gujarat coast has been reduced however potential damage with strong winds is likely over the coastal areas 
strong winds with a speed of around 50 to 60 kilometers gusting to 70 to 80 kilometers per hour expected to blow over the region. Storm surge will also be felt in the form of high ride tides. Wave heights might be around 50 feet high, so precaution must be in place to counter such a situation. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. Shirin Qureshi. For more weather updates like these, please subscribe our channel.